Holy moly. Today I'm with Lance Bass and we're checking out the best heat experiences LA has to offer. Oh! When have I ever been in a car wash parking lot eating crab? <laughs> Gave okay, Lance a little two step. Yeah. <laughs> the left side of my tongue is really killing right now. This is going off the menu. So, how are you with heat? Hot food, chilies, the hotter the better. I grew up around New Orleans. I love the heat, I like some spice, so bring it. All right, so we're headed to a place called Salazar. It's this incredible Mexican restaurant. But what's cool is the chef does a lot of things that aren't on the menu. Do you have to say, like, a secret password? It's when the server comes out, and you're like, I know that you also have some secrets back there, and I want the chef to throw down. Salazar is known for their carne asada tacos. But like any chef, Chef Ocha loves to create and be spontaneous. Wow. We know that uh, Chef Ocha is known you know, for these great carne asada, you know, tacos and, and other items, but you want the secret stuff. Yes, there you go. The I'm menu. saying it in a nice way. And you're like, <laughs> give us Bring the it. secret stuff. Wow. There's a sauce up. <laughs> and this is not on the menu. You have to ask me. No, no. Just looking at the colors, like you see the tomato and the chili and the cilantro and avocado and onion. And then over here, you got to tell us what that is. I'm <laughs> seeing some crickets on top. <laughs> Doesn't that sound very appetizing, no? They're like crunchy. I mean, that's the big thing, right? Like yes. the texture. Have you guys had chapulines before? I have, I have. Yeah, you haven't. Not. <laughs> no, I have not. No. This is no mac and cheese, my friend. You got a ghost pepper salsa? I think the ghost pepper is like the evil twin of the jalapeno. Take one of those times 10,000, and now you've got a ghost pepper. Someone's being brave over there. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is for oh, you, my friend. Oh, that's mine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was bragging about my I, New Orleans connection. Here we go. Exactly. Is it warm enough for you? It immediately hits you. <laughs> Holy moly. The left side of my tongue is really, <laughs> really killing right nice. now. I think these peppers broke his face. That is amazing. Look at that. And then with the crunch of the crickets. The dried grasshoppers, or chipolinas, they're crispy. You know, they're full of protein, actually. Oh, my god. Barely gosh. legal right here. This <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get messy. That's when you know it's good. Uh-huh. It's tasty. <laughs> There's no joke with that heat, right? Ooh, the ghost pepper is like so good. rare in its head. It's my new favorite pepper. Dude, <laughs> this is out of control. Hot, but like not just for no reason hot. It's got the flavor that brings out everything else. Yeah. So you have that, you have the salt, you have the crunch. Now, I love things like this because I'm always looking for adventures, you know, when you uh -huh. take your friends, and then you look so cool in front of them. <laughs> yes, because you'll street, be talking street, like full of street cred. Yeah. I'll be talking about this salsa for the next two years. Right. Like, anytime right. a salsa gets in front of me, you're like, yeah, but it doesn't have crickets in it. <laughs> no ghost peppers. So, chef, cannot thank you enough, and uh, can't wait to spread the word and tell everyone to come in here and trust you and just <laughs> yes. put themselves in there in your hands. This next stop, the chef, his name is Win Tram. He's known for this Singapore crab. Lots of garlic and chili. And let me tell you, this is out of control, super spicy. The chef will have you follow his Instagram account called Starry Kitchen. If you prove your worthiness, you're a big fan, you hound him enough, he'll give you his super secret Instagram account to follow. We only know we're going to this address. It's like a parking lot. Definitely never had parking lot crab before. No. I'm sure a lot of people have gotten crabs I was in the just going to say, there's a full-on <laughs> crabs joke there. This seems a little sketchy, all right? It totally seems sketchy. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. This is a complete police sting. Totally. <laughs> this is a dark parking lot. Stay put. I'm watching you. He's watching us? He's watching, yeah. Creepy. What have you gotten me into? Bro? I don't know. And I want to make sure we don't die. I'm going to hit this here. What's this? Check how rad this is. 360-degree camera. Now we can tell if we're going to get murdered or not. We're good. How scared would you be if you were right here and you, you saw, saw someone crouch? walking around your car? You would die. That would be crazy. You would die. Oh, is this him? Oh, my god, there's a guy with a hood. Oh, my god. <laughs> Go to the DIY car wash on your right. Look in the van with the martini music playing in the trunk. What? The van with the martini music playing? That was, that was scary as <laughs> <laughs> This is the craziest thing I've done for crabs. Oh, I hear music. Ah. Oh, that's martini music. Let's All hope right. for the best. 
a little more light. This makes me a little music. happier. <laughs> I do hear the music. All right. So <laughs> we got to see if our crab's um, in here. Holy moly. <laughs> Want crabs? <laughs> yes, well, I, I do. I do. want some crabs. Welcome to the Crab Club. Well, thank you. Oh, well, the outfit, the whole, the, the, music, whole, the music's great. amazing. See, I went from right? being very scared to now, this is just That's great. the point, yeah. elated? Yeah. But isn't that fun? Because you're going for what you feel like is a benign experience. Yeah. What if you really feel like that something was about to go down? Yeah. That's the fun part for me. Crabs in here, you guys want to have some? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're oh, here God. for, are you kidding me? There's an invoice, because you know, you can't pay for food in a car wash, so you might be able to pay for other stuff ah. and get free food. Oh, and that's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See? Oh. oh! Ooh, that looks nice. Big! Dibs. So that's the sauce. It's so good. Pour it all up in there. Oh, it took just like a hot sex bath of oh. sauce. So you've got fresh Thai chilies, dried Thai chilies, bird's eye chilies, all these different flavors going on that makes the dish explosive with heat. Oh, yes. yes. Nice bass. I don't f around my food. No, you do not. It's special because it's a saucy crab. Yeah. It's, it's the most popular crab in Singapore. When people come back, they can't find it. Yum. Oh, hell yeah. You dip all night. The cilantro, is that in the sauce or just on the top to kind of? On the top, it, it's yeah. been sitting in there, so it has, right. it has actually affected Perfumed it, yeah. yeah. 50 to 90% of it is just the aroma. I can't wait to like take my friends here and not tell them anything. It was a lot of fun. I really don't ever hang out with people to eat. Yeah. So okay. we gotta get well, you We'll out. take okay. this out of your hands. Yeah. This has been an incredible culinary experience. Did you have fun? This was amazing. Are you kidding yeah. me? When have I ever been in a car wash parking lot eating crab? <laughs> So now we're going to be heading into Compton, where you have two guys that escaped the heat of the street and jumped into the heat of the kitchen. And one is an ex-blood and one is an ex-crip, so. These guys are making amazing soul food that the Compton locals love. All right, so how do you find these guys? They have an Instagram account that is uh, Trap Kitchen. So Trap Kitchen, okay. You know, they do takeout, you come over and grab their food. So you gotta follow and get an idea of what they're making, where it's gonna be. They move around to different places, different houses. I had to change my shirt to black because I wanna be non-denominational here. It can't be blue or red. Oh, that's right. Representing one of the, you know. Wait, I'm wearing blue, what does that mean? Oh my gosh! And <laughs> just zip up the coat. <laughs> Brown, right. I think I smell it from out here. Mm. Hey, Hello. How are you? How's it going? Good, yeah, good. Welcome to Compton. Thank you. Oh, you can smell that. Mm. Mm. Hey, guys, they're here. Hey. Hey, how's oh, What's, up, what's up, going on with y'all? This is Spank and News. They're making fried chicken and waffles for today. You got the waffle maker. You got the two different uh, flavors going. Yeah, blueberry and um, apple cinnamon. Um, we post the menu in the morning. No meal is uh, repeated throughout the same week. Being the fact that we sell out within one to three hours, it really makes a rush for it. Like, who can get there first? Right, right. Or who can put their order in first? You know what I'm saying? This kitchen's gorgeous. And then you can move around to other yeah. kitchens. They all yeah. look like this where you're working? They all this nice, but they all this clean. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Do you ever have anybody, like, buy everything? Yes. Yeah. Snoop. Yeah, Snoop Dogg. Snoop. <laughs> oh, really? He calls them at the most random times, and. We get, just buys a 30 and you plates. get 30 plates. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say no. No, nah, we're not. Right. <laughs> what makes the chicken so craveable? It's the best in LA. MSG. Yeah? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, man. We just put a lot of love and happiness in there, man. The trap blend? Yes, the trap blend. We can't, we can't I can't disclose no, to you of guys no, what's no, in no, there. I wouldn't, but... even, I wouldn't even ask. Oh, I'll go with that guy right there. Dark meat. We love dark meat in the trap. That's so good. Oh my God. Now do just I wait, get to? Just wait. <laughs> I can't wait. All right. The crunch of the chicken is incredible, but the inside is so juicy, it's just perfect. He gave Lance a little two step. <laughs> <laughs> so they thought he was in instinct again. <laughs> I love the idea of blueberries, though. Everyone does chicken and waffles, but I love the fact that they're throwing blueberries in there, a little texture, some color. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying our chicken, because normally we don't let anybody see what we're doing in the kitchen. You're trying to kick us out? He's telling us to leave. say something yeah. in a nice way. It's about time for you guys to roll up out of here. <laughs> I got myself a couple of to-go boxes. 